Don't cry. So we're here with Debbie today. Uh, Debbie had seen me. We're looking at restoring some volume. Her primary areas of concern were the folds here. On our assessment, we were looking, and she does have some mild fold formation, not too bad. But I think part of the issue in creation of the fold is a little bit of deflation or less volume in here. So today we're going to add volume to the cheek area, and we're going to see what kind of impact that has on the fold. Once I've added the volume here, if we need to add filler to the fold, then we'll add filler to the fold. Once we've completed that, another area of concern was the glabella or the levens. We're going to add a little bit, she's got a little bit of a tendency for a depression there. We're going to add a little bit of volume there and follow that up quickly with a little bit of Botox. Approaching the cheek area can be done through the outside with a needle or something called a micro cannula. Today we're going to fill it primarily from the inside. In my opinion, that gives us less tenderness. It's also less bruising, and I think it gives a little bit more natural result with less, less fullness in the recovery period. I'm going to have to keep just, just exactly like that. And the filler, just so you know, Deb, that we're using is called Juvederm, small pulp. You may feel a little bit of that. Um, uh, what's called a hyaluronic acid. Doing okay? Yes, I am. Great. So right now I go into the underneath the cheek and just on top and uh, that usually allows me to fill slowly and kind of see where we're at. Hanging in there? Yes I am. Great. So far everything's going great. I use my left finger to kind of feel where I am and that helps me decide uh, where I'm placing it and how much I've gotten placed there. So, so far you're doing awesome. So, so far we'll use about one syringe or about one cc syringe of the Juvederm Ultra Plus XC take a look and see kind of where we're at. So try to avoid anything important in the area. They got a couple of nerve, but we've added one one syringe of the Juvederm Ultra Plus XC to the, the cheek area. I have not gotten much in here. I will come back. We're going to add a little bit more, but it's clearly made some softening to the fold here. If you compare the right side to the left side, I'm going to turn it just a little bit. You can see we're just a little bit deflated here. We've added some nice volume. She still looks natural, and I think you're doing okay pain-wise. I am. Okay, I great. Am. I'm going to turn you a little bit like that. Okay. And slide your hair off. It makes it a little bit easier for me to see. Great. And turn about right like that. Okay, do Mm-hmm. And as we're going, I can use my left hand. I can kind of feel where I put filler and where I need to put filler too. So that's kind of the nice thing we call it the smart finger. Mosquitoes are worse. That's the mm -hmm. well. That's the primary goal is to make it as minimally comfortable. It may be a little more uncomfy on your between your eyes, but it shouldn't be too bad. So we're going back just to add a little bit more volume, a little bit higher up, just to see if we can get that cheek to come up just a little bit more. You okay? Yeah. Great. So, almost done. Uh, Debbie's concern was her folds. Mm -hmm. So I started here, I mean, I we'll probably put a little bit here, but right now we're at about two syringes. So um, I like this side. Right now we've got one syringe in here. I'll put another one down here and then a little bit. Two total cc's here and then another half a cc. So almost probably, by the time we're done, it'll be about six syringes, which, okay. you know, given her age and, you know, you're good looking anyway. So it just, but it shows you how much volume we can actually really get in and still look natural without making it look goofy. Right. So one of the areas that was concerning for Debbie as well was this area called the glabella or what people call their 11s. She has a little bit of a depression and a little bit of, the, of a crease and although we'll get improvement with neurotoxin like Botoxium and her Dysport, I don't think we'll get it completely resolved and so we'd like to soften the area. We're going to put a little bit of injectable Juvederm Ultra Plus XC into the area and then follow that up with Botox. So maybe turn toward me just a little bit. This one you may feel a little bit more than in the cheek, but hopefully not too bad. And rather than just fill the lines, I'll usually fill the whole area to keep it relatively smooth. Typically it doesn't take a large volume, but just enough to soften. Treat the other side, I think we have reasonable volume there. Last poke, okay.
think this is worse than the cheek or easier? Or about the same? I would say it's the same. Okay. Not too bad? No, not at all. So that's it. That was about two tenths of a, three tenths of a cc for that. I think that should be plenty. And then I'm going to go back to the folds. So we're back. We've added a little bit of volume to that area. I think our cheeks are looking good. She's got a little puffiness and that might be a little bruise from the needle. I am going to slide a little bit of filler in there, but this side was always a little deeper. So we're going to work on the crease first. I'm going to turn you just a little bit there and then add a little bit of volume there and then I'll come over and add just into that area. So. This one you may feel a little bit as well. As we talked about earlier, you can use a micro cannula for injecting. I think it is a little bit easier and a little less risk for bruising. Um, and since we don't need a large volume into this area, I think we'll just go with the, the traditional needle injection. So it's about 7 tenths of a cc on the right side. And I'll probably put a little less on the left side just because we have a little bit of swelling. And then if we need to touch that up at another date, we'll do that. So on this side, again, I think she's going to probably get a little bit of a bruise from when I put the needle up inside. It's just a little more puffy, but we're going to work on the crease and then a little bit there. So I'm going to turn you up just a smidge. Last one, I'm going to try to avoid where most of her puffiness is and go over. Stop there. I'm going to have you hold right there. <coughs> Doing okay? I am. Okay. We're just going to add some Botox here again to uh, uh, maximize the effect of the small amount of filler we place there. Again, I think we've gotten nice and large enhancement to the cheek area. We softened the folds and uh, you know got her out of here with. Uh, not much swelling. Well, the muscle starts on the side and runs kind of like a seagull. So we're going to put a little bit here, more here, more there. And that's going to be our pattern of the Botox injection. And I typically go a little deeper because the path of the muscle is a little bit deeper as well. And the benefit of putting the filler in is, is that usually it's relatively numb where we put it in. So I'm assuming you're feeling a little bit of this, but not too much, correct? That is correct. Okay, great. That's it. Okay, you survived. That was it? That's it. Oh. Okay. So overall, your first experience with filler and, filler and Botox, any impressions? Worse than you thought, better, about what you expected? A hundred times better. Okay. Yeah, All right, great. I, I can't believe how painless it actually is. Great. Okie doke, so I think right now. That fears needles can actually handle this. Did the needles bother you or not too much? No, not too much. Okay. All right. Well, it's a start on her uh, enhancement before the wedding, correct? Correct. And when's the wedding? June 30th. Okay. So she should do awesome before then. So, great. You're done. Thank you. Yeah, it's a wrap.